Happy Sunday, FBC kids. It's Miss Maggie with your Sunday lesson. I hope you had a good week. Oh, the cold weather is gone and the sun's finally out today and I'm loving it. I hope you are too. Um, we left off with God's rescue plan. Whoop! <laughs> there it is. Okay, and we said he had a plan, right? To fix the sin of the world. So, that plan is Noah and the flood. So let's continue. Adam and Eve had kids, and their kids had kids, and their kids had kids, and grandkids, and great-grandkids, and great-great-grandkids, spreading all over the wild world, and sin was spreading with them. They were fighting, stealing, lying, hurting each other, making God's world an ugly place. Finally, God said, enough. It was time to start again. God decided to pick up one person, one good person, to start his world again. But who? In that world of sinning, fighting, and hurting, was anyone good and kind enough to trust with such an important job? Yes, God chose Noah. Noah was a righteous man. He tried very hard to make the right choices he tried hard not to fight, steal, or lie. Noah walked with God. That means in a world where everyone was doing their own thing, Noah was thinking about God, talking to God, listening to God. Noah was always ready to do what God asked. Oh yeah, and there's one other thing we know about Noah. He was more than 500 years old. Yep, 500 years old. People lived a long time back then. Not only was Noah a righteous man who walked with God, but Noah had been practicing walking with God and listening to God's voice for over 500 years. That's a long time. So when God had a really big job to do, he knew who to call on because he knew who was listening for more than 500 years. God said, hey, Noah, build a boat. And Noah said, what's a boat? And God said, it's a thing that you can float on if, the, if it's like a, gonna flood. And Noah said, what's a flood? And God said, it's when water covers everything. It's why you need a boat. And Noah said, how big? God said, big enough for your family. Noah said, anything else? God said, and some animals. And Noah said, how many animals? And God said, all of them. At this point, Noah probably fainted and God probably had to poke him with a stick and wake him up again. Then God gave him plans for building a boat, a very big boat. Noah and his family set to work building a boat so big it could hold all of them, plus two of every kind of animal. Building a boat that big, took years and years and Noah's neighbors probably came by often and laughed at him for building a boat where there was no water. But Noah didn't care about the laughing. He'd been walking with God for so long and he was going to keep on walking with God no matter what. Noah wanted to be God's friend and even if everyone else thought he was silly, he was still gonna do it. Then one day it started to rain. The animals came from everywhere. Big animals, little animals, tall animals, short animals. God sent the animals to Noah and Noah packed them in the big, big boat. And it kept raining harder and harder and harder. Suddenly having a boat looked like a pretty good idea. God covered the land with water so that all the sinning and fighting and hurting could finally stop. All the fighting and hurting died, but so did most of God's creation. It was a very sad time. It rained and poured for 40 days. Noah's big, big boat floated on the water 50 days, 60 days, 100 days. After 150 days, the big, big boat was getting very, very stinky. Have you ever been on a pig farm or an elephant house at the zoo? Stinky like that worse. Then finally the water started to come down. Down, down, down. 
One day at last, Noah's big, big boat came to a rest on top of a mountain. Let's start again, God said. So Noah and his family, plus a whole bunch of seasick animals, walked out of the big, big boat into a clean, fresh world. It was time to start again. Okay, kiddos, all we need for today's craft is a piece of white paper, a piece of purple, a piece of blue, a piece of green, a piece of yellow, a piece of orange, and red. Can you guess what we're doing today? All the colors of the rainbow. Now, if you don't have colored construction paper, again, do not stress. Just take another white piece of paper, get your crayons out, and start coloring. It can be really easy, okay? And you can cut those out. have the construction paper. We're going to take your one piece, we're going to fold, well, let's say about an inch or whatever you want to do. Fold it over. It'll make a little line, see? And that will show you where to cut. Okay, now you have your strips of paper cut. See? Looks just as good. Make it big or small. I made my little color pieces smaller than my construction paper pieces. Make it whatever size you want. And it looks just as good. Now, we're gonna take our white construction paper and we're gonna draw a little cloud. I'm gonna use my crayon. I'm just gonna draw a big, fluffy, white cloud. My white cloud. Okay, now we're just gonna cut it out. Okay, so get your crayons back out. I've got all my colors of the rainbow here, and it doesn't matter what color, but we're gonna write a little message in our cloud. And that message is God is faithful. He keeps his promises, okay? So at the top, I might switch crayons with every word. God is faithful. He keeps his promises. Okay, you don't have to write it exactly like I did. Just write it however. Um, if you don't know how to spell or know how to write quite yet, just ask your parent, guardian, brother, sister, and they will help you.
Okay, once your craft is dry, you have something you can pick up and hang. You can give it to one of your loved ones. And we have a rainbow because God sent a rainbow as a promise that he would not flood the earth again. Okay, so we have our rainbow and our message. God is faithful. He keeps his promises. And something cute that you can give one of your loved ones. I hope you like it. You want to get really crazy with the rainbow theme today. The girls came up with a really good idea and I promised them we could try it today. And that is rainbow grilled cheese sandwiches. <laughs> Let's see how they turn out. <laughs> okay, so we have our white cheese. Okay in five different bowls. All right, and I'm just gonna use the food coloring that I have. We're gonna put a couple drops. In each one, stir it up to color the cheese. Now you don't have to use the color, food coloring I have, Okay, now you need two slices of bread. Doesn't matter what kind. You can use whole wheat. You can use um, white. You can use gluten free. Um, doesn't matter. And then you need some butter. And we're gonna butter one side of each piece of bread. And we'll leave the other side dry. part is for an adult. So, you want to warm up your skillet. Okay, once it is warm, we'll put our piece of bread, butter down on the skillet. <laughs> Most of you know how to make grilled cheese, so. Then we can start putting the color of cheeses on. Come and get your lunch. Yeah, and that's how it turned out. Let's see what the kids want. <laughs> get this thing on it. What do you think? Whoa, is it good? Do <laughs> you like it? Let's see what the inside looks like. So cool. Good idea, Layla. Whoa! Ah! <laughs> Stop for me. A cubit is a unit of measurement often used in biblical times. It measures approximately one and a half feet. The ark was 300 cubits long. 50 cubits wide and 30 cubits high. That's big enough to hold one and a half football fields or two large airplanes. Why did God save Noah and his family from the flood? Why do you think Noah ignored those who laughed about his big boat? I hope you like the craft today and um, I hope you enjoy your grilled cheese rainbow sandwich lunch for today. I know Layla loved it. Zadie was a little skeptical, but she's eating it. <laughs>
<laughs> All right, let's finish off with a prayer. Dear God, thank you for being faithful to Noah because he was faithful to you. We want to be faithful to you too. Amen. Have a great Sunday.